Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Romans 12 verse 14. When I look at this verse, I see three key words. Bless, persecute, and curse. You know, when Paul wrote this letter to the Christians in Rome at the time, they were definitely experiencing persecution. And he seems to allude to this earlier in this letter. In Romans chapter 5, in chapter 5 verse 3, he writes about the tribulation that they are experiencing. In Romans 8 verse 18, he speaks about the present day sufferings or the sufferings of this present time. So the, so the Christians in Rome were definitely experiencing persecution. But when you look at our present day and age, as a Christian, we will also experience persecution. And depending on what part of the world you live in, your persecution may be different from, from a Christian living in another part, um, as in where you are living. So for example, if you live in a country where Christianity is considered illegal, um, or Christianity is the religion that is probably the least practiced within that country, your persecution would be different in the, as for a Christian living in another country. If you live in a country where it's illegal, you have to practice your Christianity in secret. Uh, you have to do things where you, you cannot openly have a church building. You cannot openly walk with your Bible in the street or, or you cannot openly just be a Christian. You have to do it secretly. Um, you, you think, and then if you do get caught uh, practicing your Christianity, things bad things could happen to you. You, know, you could be... You could have all your possessions taken away from you. You could be beaten for being a Christian. You could be thrown in prison. And worst of all, you could be killed for being a Christian. And, and this is happening to uh, Christians in certain uh, locations or areas where they practice Christianity and it's considered illegal. Um, but, and, and if you live in another, in another part of the world where you can practice your Christianity openly, your persecution would be different. You would not um, experience persecution in an extreme way as another Christian would in another part of the world. But your uh, persecution would be, maybe you'd be abused verbally. You could be, uh, people could say things about you, you know, you could call you crazy for believing in something that you cannot see. And, th and that is all forms of persecution. Uh, you could be looked down upon for being a Christian. But that is persecution. You know, it's, it, it can be different for Christians in different places of the world, but you still face persecution. And when Paul writes this to the, to the Christians in Rome at the time, he's basically telling them that they should not curse the person or whoever or the person who is persecuting them. He says, bless at the, at the latter or the second part of that verse, he says, bless and do not curse. So when you think about cursing, or when you think about curse, there can be different explanations of what cursing is. But basically, I think what Paul is getting at here is he doesn't want you to speak, or he doesn't want you to um, wish anything bad on the person that is persecuting you. He doesn't want you to wish that anything evil happens to that person who is persecuting you. He doesn't want you to treat that person in the same way that they are treating you by persecuting you. And you know, that's a natural tendency of people or natural reaction. You know, if somebody um, uh, attacks you or somebody is going to, I mean, persecute you as, as, as it is written in the verse, your natural reaction is you're going to get angry and you're going to get maybe upset and you're going to want to react in a way that, you know, you want to defend yourself. And maybe defending yourself or in that sense is um, cursing that person, uh, wishing bad on that person or um, wishing that evil happens to that person. But that is not what Paul wants you to do. He starts off the verse and he mentions bless twice in this one verse. He mentions bless at the beginning. And then in the, in the second part of the verse, he also mentions bless. And he wants us to bless the person who persecutes us. He, as Christians, as Christians, Paul wants us to bless the person that persecutes us. If you think about, if you, if you talk about blessing, it's basically... Seeking God's favor for that person. Seeking God's favor for that person is what we do when we bless somebody. And basically what, is, what it is, is we, he wants us to go to God and ask God to bless that person. He wants us to ask God to help that person 
change their ways. He wants us to ask God to help that person to become a better person. Inevitably, to become a Christian. That is what Paul wants us to do to those people that are persecuting us. He wants us to look to look for to ask God to find the best in that person so that they can also become a child of God. So bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse. 